quick thinking saves a couple from a dangerous confrontation. As Mike McKnight reports, any of us could end up in the same situation. It's a fact finder's investigation. Sandy and Jamie heard a startling noise in the kitchen downstairs. It was loud and it was crash. Jamie responded with a sound of his own. Got here. That stopped the burglar in his tracks. I think most people, if they knew what that sound was and they were trying to break in, they would not stick around very long. But Jamie made sure with a verbal warning. I have a gun. Don't even think about coming in here. Jamie says he never pointed his gun at the burglar, who first tried to pry open the front door, then a basement window, before settling on the kitchen. The young burglar was a bit of a daredevil. He climbed up on this garbage can that's not real steady, but stood here breaking the window, trying to get into the house. Still shaken, the couple asked their last name and address not be reported. Frightening. I cannot tell you how unusual it is to feel frightened in your own home in the middle of the day. But Jamie says mentally he prepared for the day he might face an intruder. I take owning a gun real seriously. You know, the last thing I want to do is use it on someone. After hearing breaking glass, Sandy called 911. And before getting his gun, Jamie also grabbed his cell phone to snap a photo of the suspect's car parked on the street. Notice the tape indicating the windshield had recently been replaced. A clue the couple hopes will lead to the burglar stopped by a warning sound. In Papillion, Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. Papillion police say the photo can't be enhanced enough to clearly show that license plate. So if anyone recognizes this car with a new windshield, call Sarpy County Crime Stoppers at 592 STOP. The burglar is in his early 20s. He was wearing a plaid jacket over a gray hoodie. <laughs>